It's that time. It's the Muni Moment with Taylor Riggs. It's our segment that focuses on the top stories in municipal bonds. Taylor. Hey, Caroline, and joining me today is Mark Paris. He's the CIO of Municipals over at Invesco. Mark, you know, talk to me. We've talked a lot about variable rate demand obligations, those VRDNs. Those rates just hit a 10-year high recently. Do you still find those attractive in our rising interest rate environment? Yeah, thanks, Taylor, and it's uh, good to be here. So, obviously, as the Fed is normalizing the short end of the yield curve, we're seeing short rates move up, and that's the same thing for the municipal bond market. These variable rate de uh, demand notes it's actually reset on a weekly basis. It's actually very good in a short-term strategy. Some of our shorter end duration funds were using that strategy because the price stays very stable, the rates move up as the Fed moves up rates, and it's a nice strategy to have. The flip side of that, though, is that closed-end funds issue these, and their cost of borrowing is going up very slowly, and that could put some pressure on dividends in closed-end funds, and I think that's why we've seen some price volatility in closed-end munis, but for the short strategies, we like uh, the variable rate demand notes a lot. Short strategies, okay, good. You know, another thing that we saw this week, of course, was Detroit. They exited their state oversight that was happening, you know, since they'd exited bankruptcy. I'm not sure Detroit's out of the water yet, though. Would you be a buyer here? Yeah, so they're clearly not out out of the war to get. There's still a population decline. They're still very dependent on one business segment, the auto segment. But it's very interesting to look at different names in the muni market. And there's so many names to look at. Detroit water and sewer bonds were just fine during the bankruptcy of Detroit. Revenue bonds do very well, whereas you don't have the pension issues that general right. obligation bonds have. So right now for us, we're actually focused more on toll roads, essential services, water and sewer bonds. We think that that's a very steady area of the muni market. Supply is very low this year. And we think think that that's a very good place to be because you don't have to deal with the pension issues and um, you don't hit the headline risk that you get. When Detroit happened, it kind of took down a lot of the market uh, as a whole. And what you found was each individual name trades on its own. Right. Now, we are coming off a period that was pretty weak for the start of the year. Uh, where do you see opportunities now? Are we still taking some credit risk here as you go into the summer months? Yeah, I think it definitely pays to take some credit risk here. So obviously, we've had a big rate move, not just on the short end, but also on the long end. The long bond started at a 275 for the year or something around the 310. Now, munis have kind of gone down in sympathy, but high-yield munis have actually outperformed investment grade significantly. Mm -hmm. We're down a little more than 1% in investment grade. We're only down about 20 basis points or so. And I would say that the short duration space in high-yield muni is very attractive right now. It actually has a positive return for the year. And I'd also say that, you know, Fundamentally, the U.S. economy is doing good. That's very good for muni credits. Perfect. Wonderful. Caroline, that was Mark Paris, the CIO of Municipals over at Invesco.